welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna do some product reviews. Let me move you guys back just a little bit. Really? Really hear you? Really? She wants to say hi. You wanted to come up here and I'll say hi. Hello people. My name is Harriet. I am a chunky chunk. I love food. She apparently, my roommate told me, he catches her laying down next to the food bowl and just like She's like her mommy, apparently. <laughs> okay, up there, babe. So, I want to talk about some products that I want to review. Uh, they're both actually cleansing products. One's for your face, and one's for your makeup brushes. So, the first thing is this Duvol, I hope I'm saying that right, uh, Radiance Spin Care System. And they sent this to me. Just so you know, um, they did send this to me to review. There's also a discount code in the... So they did send this to me, just for full disclosure. Um, they sent it to me to review and to show you guys, and hopefully we like it. So it comes like this. You've got the wand, two small brush heads, a big brush head, and a pumice stone. That's... So it's a deep cleansing, four deep cleansing brushes, cleansing, exfoliating, what's the difference? Meh. Facial exfoliating brush, I'm going to assume is, oh my god, I can't do anything with nails, I swear. So there's two of these. They're different. This one's a little bit finer, maybe softer, so maybe this one's the exfoliating one. And this is the cleansing brush. This is the body cleansing brush. And then there's a pumice stone, like, for your feet. You guys, I'm really sorry about the background noise, but if I let them outside of my bedroom, then they just sit at the door and whine until I let them in. So I've already put batteries in it. It takes four AA batteries. Spins there, obvi. Let's put the. Okay, they just click on and off. I guess it still goes. That's a decent amount of pressure. That's about the pressure I would put on my face to like cleanse my face. So. Let's uh, put the facial cleanser on. Let me read the constructions. Yes, I was right. This this one's the exfoliating brush, and the one that I put on is the facial brush. You may want to use a headband to keep your hair from your face. Okay. The facial cleansing brush gently removes excess dirt and makeup residue from your skin and is great to use prior to exfoliation. So they want me to wash my face and then exfoliate my face. So that's what we're going to do. It doesn't say if I should put water on or anything. For the exfoliating brush... Wait, 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 wait. Gently move the facial cleansing brush across your face while moving in a circular motion. Apply brush with your apply brush with your favorite cleanser. They mean put the cleanser on your brush. So I've got this pharmacy clean D ultra gentle facial cleanser. So I'm just going to put some on the brush. Didn't use a lot. Wet skin, it says. It says on the cleanser. So, what I'm gonna do. Hey, can you seriously back the frick up today? Alright, I've got my facial makeup still on, but not my eye makeup. So, let's give this a try. Alright, so you turn it on. It 
definitely getting dirty. Ow. Oh, I just went in my eyeball. Harriet, back up, please. I mean, I can see that it took some stuff off. Let's do the rest of my face. Definitely my hair is getting caught. It's, it's too rough to use around my eyes. I'll say that right now. Now, I didn't have foundation or anything on today. I just had primer and powdered bronzer and blush. So now this, this is super dirty. Um, does my face look clean though? What what are you supposed to put on an exfoliator? Or is the brush just exfoliate? I, I'm done with the washer one, I think. So I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and just clean up my face a little bit. See, so, yeah, a little more came off too. But I guess that's to be expected because you're. I would use this with like a washcloth or something else. Harriet, can you please get down? Harriet, you're sitting on a $45 eyeshadow palette. How does that make you feel? She doesn't care. She gives no Fs. Harriet. guys I I just try to do my best and be the best cat mom I can be this definitely feels rougher than the cleansing one but again I don't know if I'm supposed to be meant to use some kind of exfoliator with this or what it's pretty clean all right i'm gonna clean that head in a little bit let's get the pumice stone out and i have this little bit of like dry patch here. Huh. Okay, it definitely smoothed that out for me. Um, that was amazing. It's not painful, but it really works. The, I, I like the pumice stone for sure. Um, this is supposed to be like in the shower. I'm not, this says that it's waterproof. I just don't trust everything. So, okay, so that cleaned up really well. Uh, there's a little bit left on there, but that could be just me not getting in there really deep. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna use the one this really soft brush. I'm gonna put foundation on. I'm gonna see how it works. I don't know why I'm whispering. Okay, right, so I'm gonna put the facial cleansing brush back on. They didn't tell me to do this. I'm just doing this in my own volition. And, um, let's get get a foundation I know sort of works on my skin. Let's 
use this Maybelline Fit Me. I'm gonna try to do half my face with the brush and half with a beauty blender. So I just put a little bit out. I'm gonna get it on the brush. I've never put on foundation this way. Hold on. I think I should probably put it on my face. There. Okay, I feel like this this will work. Hey Maybelline, maybe a pump? Make it a little bit easier? Because this is messy and I don't like it. <laughs> All right. Okay, you guys need to be over here because this looks crazy. Long well, doing Get some hair. Alright, well I think that went on fairly well. The brush is pretty mangled, but not like dead. Try Beauty Blender on the other side. See how they compare. You guys know I suck at the Beauty Blender too, so. I just, I suck at life. Now, this brush was a little bit damp, and my Beauty Blender's damp. I was too afraid to use the brush thing around my eye. I need to go back in and try it though. If you don't have to have your mouth open when you're putting on foundation and stuff, you're an animal. All right, let's let's try this around my eye. Okay. Wow. I think the coverage is better with the Beauty Blender for sure. Um, I don't know, like, I'm afraid to get too close to my eye with this, so I would, like, I'm going to take the beauty blender over here anyway. I think what this could do is help you quickly get it on and then not have to blend so much. Yeah. I don't know. I just, maybe the beauty blender's the way to go. I know that I'm not good with the brush either, so. Can you, I just feel like I got better coverage on this side than that. Again, they didn't say that that's what this was for. They, all right, so I'm gonna change out the heads this time. I'm gonna go with the other one and I'm gonna spray my face down again. So we're gonna cleanse again. Take all this foundation off we just put on. <laughs> Look at the streaks left on my eye. That's funny. I don't know why it's funny, but it is to me. My hair really gets caught in it. Like not caught in it, but like, yeah. I think you know what I mean. So tell me, you guys, after you use a cleanser, I guess, do you also use a washcloth or something similar? Or do you just, like, throw water on your face like a Neutrogena commercial? <laughs> or Kylie Jenner with her walnut scrub. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go wash these two heads and my face. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a paper or a towel in there and kind of wash it. 
All right, so I washed these using a little bit of dishwashing liquid. They came out perfect. They look really, really clean. So I'm gonna put those back in there. And put this back away. Um, I neutrogena my face. <laughs> I just splashed some water and then I patted my face dry and it's not so bad. Um, my face feels nice, but it feels a little dry. So I am gonna put on some moisturizer and I'll let you guys know what I've been using. Let me put this stuff away. All right, so I've been using this for about a month, fairly consistently, at least four days a week. Uh, this is Prickle Oil Blue. It's from Prickle Skin, and I have a 10% discount code in my description below if you use the code community with a K. And I, I love this stuff. Um, I've showed this to you guys in a makeup video, but I wanted to go a little more in depth about it. Um, I never thought, I thought, oh my gosh, you can't put oil on your face. You're going to be a grease monkey. Like, that's what happens. And it doesn't, it just is a great moisturizer for my skin. Again, this is my skin. So if you already have oily skin, because I have dry skin, or combo really, for my dry skin, it moisturizes so well. And I love the way it feels. It's, it has a very slight smell to it, and that's it. It's just refreshing. All right. This, this, I'm excited about. This is supposed to wash your beauty blender, and I just know it's not going to work. Uh, I paid $8 on Amazon for it, and I got it in a couple days. Like, I got it on Prime Shipping. So, it takes two AAA batteries. Mine has something in it that I don't know where it is. Somewhere inside here. But it's just a little washing machine, right? So, you flip the top. But they claim it's supposed to clean your beauty blender. So I'm going to put some hot water in here. Got to keep this up because it drains out of this. All right. I might have made a little bit of a mess. But it wouldn't be me if I didn't. Okay, so we've got the washing machine full of water here. And where is my cleanser? Oh, there it is. I'm going to get out my Eco Tools makeup brush shampoo. But first, we're going to try it without. So I've got this beauty blender that's super dirty. So I'm going to put her down in here, let her start getting soaked up. And their claim is, shut the lid, turn it on, and watch her go. Hold on, it's not working now. Oh yeah, it is. Any weight on it though, and it, oh. Okay, I need to explain my finger to you guys. I'm really sorry, I will keep that out of frame. But, once the weight of the beauty blender gets on there, it stops. So that's, it's not going to work for beauty blenders. But I mean, look at that. Holy cow. Alright, let's set this beauty blender aside. Let's, let's, okay, calm yourself. I'm going to put some of the shampoo in here. Hehehehehe. <laughs> Alright, we gotta sunstep up a little bit. Let's wash some brushes. I'm gonna wash this AOA Studios. This is my highlight brush. I'm just gonna put it down in there. Turn it on and let it go. <laughs> oh, this is entertainment. No, 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 Harriet.
Wow. That worked really well. I don't know if you're like me, but I wash like a nice handful of brushes in the same water and then I get new water. Maybe that's not the right way to do it, but it's how I do it. All right, here are some brushes that I use a lot. Uh, this one is a flat brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in there, let it go. <laughs> All right, you saw it when I put it in, it had a lot of residue. Okay, any kind of pressure, it stops it. But I do like There's still some red on there. Let's try this uh, Alomar Cosmetics. Let's... What's nice is the water is running and so, or moving. And so it does kind of go through and clean out the brush. Here, let's try this one. This one's pretty pink on the ends. You can see I'm not leaving them in here for terribly too long, or too terribly long. Yeah, they're, they're not clean. Let me show you on my hand that this one is still leaving pink red residue. Actually, hold on, I, I can show you better than this. this one. Yeah, yeah. You can still see highlight in there. Not a lot, though. Like, it's not terrible. Well, this one is. Look at, look at that one. That didn't work at all. I think it's, you don't have any friction to, like it's nice to have the running water, but there's no friction. So like, okay, that one, this, this is dry. I haven't washed this one and it left that mark. I feel like the batteries are already running low too. That just got worse. I don't know how that's possible. Yeah, that this thing doesn't work at all, dang it. I really wanted it to work a little bit. Womp womp. Womp womp womp. Let me tell you about my nail. It's gross, don't look at it. <laughs> I got my nails done a week and a half ago. Yeah, a week and a half ago. And then like three days after I was getting out of my car and I hit my nail, like I caught it on my door and I ripped, I ripped it up. So it, it went up, uh, like disconnected a little bit and it hurt and it bled. And then I put a bandaid on it and I thought it was getting a little bit better. And then Thursday or Friday night I was doing dishes and I stuck my hand into the water and a ladle caught me and went all the way down to the bed. And so I've had a Band-Aid on it. I've been trying to keep it together. I emailed my doctor and I was like, hey, this happened. Will it reattach? And he's like, no, 
it's not going to reattach. You might as well take the nail off. Because I was starting to, I, I was afraid that I was going to get like infection and stuff underneath it. So I have no nail now on this finger. Um, it's all the way down to the nail bed. Um, it hurts a lot, but not as much as I thought it would. So maybe in about six months I'll have a nail again. But until then, I'm sorry that you have to look at it. <laughs> it but it, it happened and it sucks. So, um, yeah, so I'm, I like this. I like this system. I really like the pumice stone. I thought I did really good cleansing and exfoliating. This I'm a little scared to use in the shower. Just my, that's my own personal thing. But, you know, maybe. Should I just do that? Like, I don't know. <laughs> so, if you guys want to check these out, I will put the link below. There is a discount code for this one too. Let me double check. Okay, there's a 70% off promo code using the code UNIQUE for Duvol. So if you want to get one of these, I think they're around $100. So with 70% off, it's around $30. Um, I think it's worth $30. I've seen, I okay, so I've had three different ones. One of them I paid like $10 for, one of them I paid $50 for, and then this one, um, the $10 one didn't work at all. Like it, it, any kind of pressure on it and it stopped moving, well, you need that on your face. What's the point of the brush if it's not gonna move? Um, the $50 one was fine. It was, um, I don't remember the brand. It might've even been like L'Oreal or Maybelline or something like that, but it was fine. It, it did exactly what this one does. So if you can get this one for 30, I would definitely invest in this one. Again, it takes four AA batteries. And so if you want to put rechargeable batteries in there, that'd be nice. Um, something that might be nice on something like this would be a recharger, but I get it. Like those are probably expensive to make. I don't know. I'm not a manufacturer. <laughs> so anyway, if you want to get your own Duvol Radiant Skincare System, you can check that out down below. I'm, I think it's worth it. But if you find one that you like that's cheaper, I mean, that's up to you. This did not work and it's leaking. So I'm gonna, yeah, it's leaking right where the batteries go. So <laughs> we're all gonna die. Yeah, so this I don't recommend. It's not worth it. It was fun though. <laughs> all right guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned how to cleanse your face and not cleanse your brushes. <laughs> I will talk to you guys soon. I love you. Bye.